Hello and welcome to this video with me Coach Reese. I hope you're all doing really well. So in today's video we're going to take a look at rest defense. We'll take a look at what it is, how it can be structured and why we might use it. As always I will leave timestamps in the description below. Let's get started. So rest defense is used to describe a part of a team's attacking structure that is used to provide support with a counter press or provide adequate protection against an opposition counter attack. The rest defense is usually made up of players who are behind the team's primary attacking players. So let's put the team in the 325. This is one of the most common attacking shapes that we see used within football. If we think about our primary attacking players, these are the players within our final line. So that means our rest defence is the players who are behind this and in 3-2-5 it's the players who are making up the 3 and the 2. The structure of the rest defence will be impacted by the team's attacking shape. If a team's using a 2-3-5 for example the rest defence is a 2 and a 3. So let's firstly think about how players within our rest defence might support the counter press. So the players within our rest defence who will be involved in supporting the counter press will more often than not be the players at the top. So the first thing that we might see these players do is we might see them block passing lanes. So they may use their cover shadows to stop any potential forward passes going into players who are trying to find themselves in the spaces between our two lines within our rest defence structure. The next thing that we might see them do is we might see them be the closest player and if that's the case they will be required to apply pressure to the ball in order to potentially try and win it or just slow the opposition's attack down so that we can have recovering players rejoin the structure to give us a little bit more protection. The rest defence is also really important for helping the team to protect against transition and in this case it'll be an opposition counter attack. So we might be in a situation where we're not able to counter press and we just need to think about how we can manage the counter attack and the rest defence can really help us do this. Because we're going to position our rest defence in the three central zones, the overall structure of the rest defence doesn't really matter in this situation, it will still be protecting these three central zones. The space in and around our structure will naturally be out wide. And this is an ideal place to force the opposition. By forcing the opposition wide, we remove that direct line for them to approach our goal. So they have to go out to come back in. And this will take slightly longer. And that gives us the opportunity for players to regain our structure and we can regain our organisation as we move into our mid block or potentially into our deep block. So we've just taken a look at what a rest defence is. We've taken a look at how it can be structured and how the attacking shape of the team may impact how the rest defence is structured. We've taken a look at why it's used. As always, if you did find the video useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I do have a Kofi page if you'd like to support the channel. I've been Coach Reese, and I will see you in the next one.